Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. You know, Anthony Joshua has recently went on The Breakfast Club today and basically comes out and states, you know, if he can't get Deontay Wilder in this next fight after he defeats Darrell Miller, if he can't get Tyson Fury in his next fight, and, you know, since he can't get the two big names, he'd be open to fighting a Luis King Kong or Ortiz. And more than likely, I assume that could be in America. That wasn't specified, but the fact that he would face Luis Ortiz next after those guys, if the, you know, if the opportunity presented itself and was right, I think that would be a phenomenal fight, a fantastic fight. I would love to see Luis Ortiz get the opportunity to provide for his family. He's a very nice guy, but unfortunately, the way I have to see it is completely honest and unbiased. You know, the LDBC, all these fanboys are coming out here making erroneous and ridiculous statements. And these statements are basically along the lines of, you know, Luis Ortiz would flatline Joshua. Joshua's not an elite fighter. Um, you know, Anthony Joshua would get beat by Luis King Kong Ortiz. All of these different things, you know, I believe Luis Ortiz is a better fighter, technically skilled. Luis Ortiz has shown more courage than Joshua. All these idiotic and ridiculous statements so you know i have to just be honest and unbiased when i analyze the situation and the truth of the matter is that anthony joshua would probably stop luis ortiz within the first six rounds and it wouldn't be a very difficult stoppage either you have to understand that luis ortiz is a very good opponent he's a very good boxer and i respect luis ortiz tremendously as a boxer he's shown class and but if we're looking at the true technical skill set of, of both men, what they possess and what they bring to the table, Luis Ortiz could not finish Deontay Wilder when he had him hurt and injured in the seventh round. I believe that's the round he had him hurt in. He couldn't stop him when he had him hurt. He already had a man and he could not finish Deontay Wilder when he had him. So his power was lacking. Luis Ortiz also had issues with stamina throughout the fight, was extremely, you know, tired and visibly tired in certain rounds, the wear and tear on Luis Ortiz, um, and the fact that Luis Ortiz has blood pressure issues, he's at an advanced age, all of these things will come into play, so these are all natural advantages that Anthony Joshua has, so it's not like he's fighting a guy that's, you know, young and in his prime, he's fighting a, a old Luis Ortiz, similar to Deontay Wilder, and you have to think about it like this, and look at it unbiasedly. If Deontay Wilder, a one-trick pony, can outsmart and outthink Luis Ortiz and knock him out, what do you think Anthony Joshua can do? A guy who's a much better boxer and who's an elite-level fighter overall. Anthony Joshua would run through Luis Ortiz within the first six rounds. He would stop Luis Ortiz. I like Luis Ortiz, but Luis Ortiz is being hyped up and pumped up and giving more credit than he truly deserves. Luis Ortiz is not an elite level fighter, regardless of what anyone thinks. Let's be honest and unbiased. Who has Luis Ortiz beaten? No one. He has not beaten anyone of an Alexander Povetkin. He has not beaten Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. That was his only step up fighting Deontay Wilder, and he did not finish the job. He got knocked out. He had the opportunity to win. He put up a great performance, but you don't win gold medals for coming in second place. Let's be honest and unbiased. Luis Ortiz is not on the level of Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua would smoke him out, and that's just being as honest and unbiased as I can be. Now, the fact that you have all these biased channels like Bias Ego, you know, the LDBC fangirls coming out here making all these ridiculous statements like Anthony Joshua couldn't beat Luis Ortiz, like Anthony Joshua is not on this level. And you have to be honest and unbiased when you analyze the situation is that Anthony Joshua is an elite level fighter. He has the skills, the age, the youth and the power all working over Luis Ortiz this will not even be a truly competitive fight I believe Anthony Joshua will control the fight from the start uh, to finish with his jab working the body and eventually stopping Luis Ortiz just as easy as he would stop anyone else just as you know as an Alexander Povetkin and, and I, you have to look at Alexander Povetkin is more proven than Luis Ortiz if we're being honest and unbiased Alexander Povetkin has been a champion Alexander Povetkin has won a gold medal I believe Alexander Povetkin has been in there with top level opposition Alexander Povetkin 
is a better fighter overall, has a better resume than Luis Ortiz, although he does not get the credit. And at the same time, he's just as old as Luis Ortiz. So I don't understand how they can give one guy all this credit, but then not the next. Yes, Luis Ortiz has better technical abilities than Alexander Povetkin in certain aspects. But at the end of the day, the totality of each fighter, Alexander Povetkin has proven more on a bigger stage than Luis Ortiz. And that's as being honest and unbiased as you can be. Once again, it's the IBFP. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.